In this video, we are going to do a complete house wash and a full fallout removal. And I'm not looking forward to this, so don't go anywhere. Here we are in Middletown, Ohio to watch this two-story home for this realtor friend of mine. And it's covered in fallout. You can see all of that brown right there along the front porch it's really all the way around and the far side is the worst we'll take a look at that here in just a moment i have some onlookers on the front porch of the other house so i'm going to make my way around here so that i can talk before we continue be sure to like and subscribe hit the bell tab leave a comment all of that serves to help the channel and as you know the channel can use all the help that it can get off camera, I'm going to wash the house. I'm going to use a downstreaming process with all of this equipment behind me. I'm going to be shooting 12.5% sodium hypochlorite on this home. Downstreamed is probably around 1%. We're going to kill all the organics on this home, and that's crucial. That's very key if you're going to do a fallout removal because a fallout removal is an acid based removal process. So we call it fallout because here locally there is a factory not far from here. All the fallout from that factory comes and lands on these homes all the way around this area, in particular in this neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods. And then a process using acid is required if you're going to remove all of the fallout. As you can see, this is fallout right here. See all of that? It's very bad. It's all along oh maybe six or eight panels coming down on this side of the home thankfully the home is vinyl it should come clean and it should not be a terribly hard process though it will take a while and the first thing we have to do is wash the house i'm going to do that right now we'll be right back don't go anywhere hey guys mike here the fresh rents hey i just want to take just a moment and say thank you for taking the time to watch this video it means the world to me i get it YouTube is big and your time is valuable. You could watch any channel that you want to and you've chosen to take the time to watch this channel. And that means the world to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right, we are back. Once again, I appreciate you joining me today. We're gonna to do a complete fall out wash on this old two-story home in Middletown, Ohio. I now have the home completely washed and rinsed thoroughly. I want to say something about rinsing thoroughly here in just a moment. But first, here is our chemical of choice. I use muriatic acid. You can get this from Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. Uh, usually around $10 a gallon. However, at Rural King, you can get it for $4.99 a gallon. I wasn't near Rural King. This is some leftover from another job that I had. Again, $4.99. $4.99 from Royal King. Picked up three gallons from Walmart. Again, about $10 a gallon. I mix it in a pump sprayer at 50-50 with nothing other than water. So 50% water, 50% muriatic acid. And so I have 50% water in here. I'm gonna mix the muriatic acid off camera and we'll come back and I'm gonna do a test spot on the front porch and we're gonna show you how well it works. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so here you can see a great example of fallout that comes from the local steel mill. Plus, you may see from time to time these tractor trailer loads of um, product that are coming through. This neighborhood does not stand a chance. We're gonna use the muriatic acid right here, here in just a moment. Up here, it's much worse, much, much worse. So I'll be getting on the roof and applying the muriatic acid there, and we're gonna see it turn completely white. Two things that I wanna say very, very quickly before we apply the muriatic acid solution. The first thing is PPE. Always wear the appropriate gear for spraying any kind of chemical, in particular an acid. I'm using these long gloves, more for the sake of just not getting it on my arms and of course my fingers. It, it'll only burn, it's not gonna burn through your hand, but you know, why not protect yourself? Also, I literally went home from this job site to get my mask and could not find it. Apparently I've left it on another job. And so I'm wearing, uh, I'm going to be wearing just a cloth around my face 
to protect myself uh, more so for the sake of skin burn. It's not going to help my lungs any. You might ask, is this dangerous? Well, it's very, very dangerous. I used to be six foot five before beginning pressure washing. Now I'm five foot six. That may have something to do with it. In all seriousness, any time that you mix an acid really with anything, but in particular with sodium hypochlorite, which we use to wash the house, it's not dangerous, it's deadly. It's extremely potent. And if you breathe that, it gets into your lungs and there's just no escaping it. In particular, if you're in a closed in porch, this is not nearly as dangerous, especially on the outside of the house. Nonetheless, I am going to cover my mouth. Uh, again, I don't want to inhale it as much as possible, I'm going to refrain from doing that, and I don't want to get the, um, the mixture on my skin. So, all right, let's, um, let's begin with this process. Okay, as much as I can talk through this cloth, I'm going to do that. It's just wearing a t-shirt here. I'm just applying this mixture onto the vinyl, and we're going to then step away for a little bit, and we're going to allow it to do its work. We call this dwelling in the pressure washing industry. We're just going to let it dwell. You can see that it's already taking effect. This is a 50-50 mixture of muriatic acid and water. Now you're going to see where someone attempted to stain this wood. And that's stain on the guttering, the vinyl over here, the vinyl right there, and down through here. That's not going to come out. But right before our eyes, we can see that without rinsing, it has already worked. We're gonna let it dwell. We're gonna move over here. Spraying the chemical onto the wall. And I realized I'm not wearing my glove because I'm a moron. God, what an idiot. Spraying this all along every area where we can reach. And obviously this porch area is no problem whatsoever. You see that? It's gone. And it's only going to get better. Let's go back over to this other area where we sprayed less than two minutes ago. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Okay, so as we continue here, one more thing. Be sure if you get it on windows to rinse the windows as quickly as possible. And the idea is to keep it wet, keep the windows wet. Otherwise, the muriatic acid wants to etch the glass. I've never had that happen. I've only heard of it happening. Then again, I keep the windows wet and I've never had a problem. So here we are on the second floor of this two-story home. My realtor friend is actually down here observing and taking care of a few things. This home rents for $1,950 here in this neighborhood. So if you're looking for a home come September 2024, it will be available. Here we go. Spraying the muriatic acid solution onto the vinyl and making it happen. You can see it happening, or at least I can. I'm not sure what you're seeing in the camera, but you can see the fallout just dripping. It will come off. Let's move over here. This is the really yellow stuff. Let me pump this up real quick. All right, here we go. You're gonna watch this disappear before your eyes. Again, this has been completely washed with sodium hypochlorite, removing all the organics, killing all the organics. The fallout will not be removed with a simple house wash. It just won't. Okay, we have stepped off the ladder. And you can see that upstairs in just a few minutes, 10 minutes maybe, that I was up there, it's completely clean. We have this area here left to wash on the front. I can do that without a ladder from the ground, spraying the solution on here, and before our eyes, they call me Magic Mike. Ooh, I like that actually. I kind of like that. I'm probably spraying more than I need to, 
but for the video's sake, I'm really trying to show you how it works in real time. The realtor, by the way, my friend Chris, is very, very happy. He throws me a bone, one or two houses a year, and I gave him a reasonable discount on this. Someone's gonna ask how much should you charge for fallout removal. I'm gonna say, if you're doing a whole house, you need to charge at least double, at least double. All right, so as we approach what I believe to be the worst side of the home, let me ask you a question. What is this worth to you? Like how much time has been cut from your learning curve simply by watching this video? As I said earlier, I would encourage you to charge at least double. So if your average house wash is 500, you just made a thousand. If it's 600, 1200 bucks. How much would you charge for this home? $700? You just made $1,400. I wanna encourage you when you watch these videos, not just mine, but others, guys and gals who are out there providing information for you free of charge, it's okay to throw a bone. And I have what I call the fresh honor system. It works like this. Throughout the remainder of this video, you're gonna see my Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle addresses. And if you are so inclined, you can send a gift. And all the gifts go to my favorite charity. The Fresh. I digress. And is greatly appreciated. I call it the fresh honor system because there's no charge. There's no set fee. You get to pay what you want to pay. And if you think that this has benefited you a little bit, give a little gift. If it has benefited you greatly, maybe the gift would be greater. Either way, I'm very grateful. I found this little ladder. I'm gonna step up here and see if I can reach the top of that second story with from this ladder. Hold on, give me just a second. Mr. Safety here. Do not call OSHA. Yes, I can. So it seems that we live in a day and age because of YouTube and other platforms where everyone is just getting used to getting everything for free. Most of us would oppose a socialist government where that healthcare is free and education is free. We would probably be in opposition to that. I know I am. And yet at the same time, here I am giving away free content. I often throw dollar bills in the direction of people not to gain leverage for some future blessing, but rather to show my appreciation. And why do we give money to show appreciation? I'll tell you why. Because money being a number is measurable. It allows you to search your heart and say, this has blessed me this much, and I'm going to return the blessing this much. You can measure money and that's why we count it. So, there you go. Okay, you can see the dramatic difference between that side and that side. It looks brand new. All right, just to answer a few questions very quickly. Yes, everything gets rinsed thoroughly afterwards. Absolutely. And then secondly, Surely someone is gonna ask, can I use a 12 volt pump and a short hose to transfer the chemical onto the home? I believe you could. If I did more jobs like this, I might experiment with that. I don't know that the process is much quicker. Well, I suppose it would be a lot quicker. The problem is I'm afraid the acid would eat through the seals on the pump rather quickly. Again, it's worth an experiment. Maybe Pressure Washing Science can help me out there. He's got an amazing channel. You wanna watch 
Pressure Washing Science. Check him out on YouTube as well. And he tends to answer questions for me. So, but yeah, that might, uh, I don't know. It seems like that would burn up the seals, but I could be wrong. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, someone else is gonna ask, will this harm plants? The answer is no, it will not harm plants. Now, it will kill everything in sight. But it's not gonna harm them. There's a difference between harming someone and killing them. It will not harm them, but it will kill them. Make sure protect the plant life at all costs. All right, in order to access this higher area here and apply the chemical, I'm gonna to have to use Jazzy's Heights along with this little ladder that I found on the property. And with that, I do believe that we'll get her done. Oh yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And with that, that is a finished job. All told, we used three gallons of muriatic acid mixed at 50-50 mixed with water on this project. And it turned out absolutely amazing. I'll send the before and after pictures to the homeowner. I'm sure that he'll be very well pleased. And by the way, if you have $1,950, you can rent this beautifully, wonderfully, freshly cleaned home. Well, you can't own it, but you can live here. Once again, I really appreciate you watching. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell tab, leave a comment. And if you'd like to make a donation, there's a link in the description to my Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rinse. And I am out.